Welcome to this week's edition of First Minister's Questions Review. Today, Mr. Attridge has promised to try not to cough. <laughs> Mr. Grant won't complain about his broken shoulder. And um, Norrie's all right. Norrie Stewart's in good fit, good <laughs> fettle. Perfect. <laughs> and um, I'm losing weight. Oh, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all good. Welcome to the show. Well, I must I have to say, I think we had an interesting First Minister's Questions this week, and uh, not surprising, given that uh, the media yesterday was absolutely 100, the mainstream media was 100% attacking the SNP and the Yes campaign. Let's kick off with Nori. I see you're still drawing cartoons. You've, right. dr you've uh, drawn a few this week. Yeah, what, I mean, your overall impression? Um, Joanne's definitely found her comfort zone. She's got a wee bubble. She's looking much better than she was a month ago, two months ago. So yeah, fine. I, tactically, I, I just think the Labour Party have been really, really stupid. I mean, this continual head-on slag slag, they were talking about a document that's a year out of date, with figures that were a year out of date, pr projections, from the office of we can he make accurate projections, projections under any circumstances. You know, they've got the figures, they know how much oil revenue there was, and who's going to complain about a government that takes the worst case scenario and tries to make plans to get I know the stat, I think it was Pat Kane who commented this morning mm -hmm. that uh, he finds that uh, he, he has confidence in a government that produces documents like that one that was so-called secret. You know, you can, they are actually considering all the issues. Well, I mean, and that's my view of it. And if you've got half a brain, who wants a government that flies by the seat of its pants? Very true. Well, actually, I'll just give you one quote for, from the from the Labour side there. No more boom and bust. Where are we now? Um, someone has sat there with their head somewhere warm and moist uh, and didn't actually look at what was going on. Joanna thought was, well, yeah, she's getting a bit better, but the, the eyes were getting a bit shifty again today. Well, I, definitely, um, I definitely think she's found a, a niche. Yeah, she's, she's coming, yeah, but is it good enough to be First Minister? Well, I doubt it. Um, then go down, well, you didn't, you didn't go on to Ruth when you No, but she could get a job in Edinburgh Zoo. Yeah. Because she's in a squirrels. Yeah, squirrels, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, that... You thought it was you, funny. You gave, maybe it's my cartoon head. But that's the sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know. Look, there's a squirrel. I mean, what, well, what's your reaction to that? <laughs> no, yeah, there you go. Eh? <laughs> it's got a wrong step, you. I think it's. Well, I, I, to be honest, look at it visually. Look at it visually. It's fine. Gives, yeah, gives me a squirrel. Yeah. Okay. I. Yeah. I don't. I don't disagree with you, Nori. Uh, and the fact is, what it what it showed was she's. Apropos your earlier comment, she is actually in her comfort zone to the extent that she's willing to make off-the-cuff comments as opposed to reading I don't think that was genuinely off-the-cuff. I'm sure that was written. No, it's probably... Oh, really? I thought, well... Look at that squirrel. If somebody... Yeah, wrote, she'd been talking to her three-year-old granddaughter. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if you saw the Labour Party uh, political <coughs> podcast that came out this week. No. I just it's laughed. It's about squirrels. I laughed all the way through it. It's, it's an awful appalling thing. When, Bad when, wouldn't encourage, yeah. They, they just attack. That's what Joanne was doing. They're attacking the SNP. It's supposed to be about telling the voters why you should vote Labour. Did, did, did you Scottish Labour? Scottish oh, Labour, yes. um, part, of, part of political party. Was yes. Did you watch the bedroom tax Westminster debate? No. Oh, unbelievable. What do they, what do the they Labour call Party it? were attacking. A spare room benefit. They were attacking the SNP. They were attacking the SNP, not the Tories. It was like, wait a minute, this is about bedroom tax. Of course, their nose, nose was out of joint because it was the SNP's question. Oh, they'd yeah. actually they'd put actually the motion for the debate. It shows <laughs> now that I agree with you. That's just completely, uh, it's a complete waste of time, off target, totally visceral hatred of the SNP. However, I would disagree with you to the extent that, you know, John Lamb is never going to be anybody's first minister. There's no question about that. I agree that she's in a comfort zone, relatively speaking, um, but. If you're the person who stood up and tried to portray the Labour Party policy as, well, uh, badly expressed at the time as something for nothing, the only something or nothing country left on the planet, as, as it were, and, and you then have a piece of paper where the, the Scottish, the SNP finance minister uh, that has actually said, 
made a reference to the need to consider whether we can afford, which apparently it did because I haven't read it, yeah, it's basic pensions. I'm sorry, that is manna from heaven. So you stand there and say, I'm the person who said we need to, we need to have a debate about what we can afford. And you portrayed that as complete rubbish. And now in this secret document, I mean, it's good, it is good ammunition. What the people on the, the Leith Omnibus think about it is another question. But it's good ammunition, Nori, to stick it to them and say, this shows that in secret, you're fear. And we want everybody else to be fear with you. But they're not taking it out of context. And the whole point is they're all sitting around there as a responsible government actually talked about whether we can afford this. Or we do. I know. We actually have to look at it rather than taking uh, no boom and, boom and bust and we're all right and everything's going to be great yeah, and we're S marvellous. The SNP should lock leak the document that discusses the effect of Westminster's cuts on, the Scot on Scotland. Mm. The yeah. discussions they had about that. Oh, you've got you, you've got to be cute, no. and uh, it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, I know. It is. Yeah. Right. Well, let's look. Okay, look, guys. I, look, I thought this week it started off yes, predictable. Yes, I agree. She was in. Joanne was in her comfort zone. Yeah. We knew that it was going to be bang, bang, bang. One, two, three. Ruth and Willie would follow on the same topic. <laughs> oh, they, Willie, honestly, but, I mean, but, 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 really. But as as the as the minutes rolled by, that master. Politician Mr. Salmon just became a bigger and bigger he did. Uh, presence in the chamber, and he I, and I'm so glad he finally got round to calling them bitter together. Yeah, well, twice he used the term, and and there's been a lot of us on social networking being a bit nervous about using the term because you can get oh you're being negative and you're attacking yeah unnecessarily. Well, if the first minister thinks it's all right to stand up in Holyrood and call that lot because they are a bitter lot together. I think it's good. I I just. Uh, he became. The whole thing makes me so hugely impressive. uncomfortable. Mm. I mean, it, I'm probably like all my days. It, it, I'm just. I actually want to go around and bang heads together. Apparently, Tony Blair good. says you, SMPs like you could. Yeah. That'd be right. Yeah. In what planet is that? Uh, I'm sorry. Who would wish to listen to what a narcissistic sociopath? Which is to say, <laughs> well, you're right to so the you extent that he's got. He's say what you mean. Exactly well, sorry, I'm not saying that. That comes from an eminent group of psychologists and psychiatrists. Well, they, they looked at him at the early day, and that's because they said you couldn't call him a, a, a psychopath because you don't use that term anymore. The term for him would be a narcissistic sociopath. sociopath. Yeah, Somebody with an extreme personality disorder. Yeah. yeah. Sound about right? Uh, well, he sounds always, it always reminded me of a kind of evangelical Bible bashing preacher. You know, the Did you see him on news tonight? That guy, he, he reminds me, of, always reminds me of the Ian Paisley. I thought he, he studied, at the, studied at the Ian Paisley School of Bible Thumping. I always got that, because the funniest spoofs of Tony Blair when they used to do them as the minister of St Albans or something, mm. standing there in the, 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 you know, the pulpit with prof, his yeah. profound rubbish to use a very old fashioned term for tony blair he's as mad as a hatter it's about you know he is he conned a lot of people kind, for a long time though well he's yeah. probably worth about 60 million quid he's who's yeah, he called yeah. forget forget what he's worth but the fact is it's what he's he, all about he won elections when people said he couldn't win them hmm? and it, it was astounding because by that time most of us had <laughs> sussed the guy and and hated the sight of him but they kept electing him. I grant you that was something to do with the quality of the opposition. That, I mean, that might well be where the problem for the Labour Party is, because it's not about principle anymore. But if you look at those it's figures, about actually... About principle. Yeah. Yeah. What figures? No, if you got, when you're talking about him winning elections, every single election, the amount of people that voted for Labour went down. Um, right. the, the, their core vote went down even faster, yeah, yeah. Um, the people that voted for him were probably on that same... So way. how did he win? Uh, because of, the man has a hat away. Because, because, yeah. because, because the Tories collapsed. Middle yeah, they collapsed. Like, you know, well, after Middle England. And the first past the post voting system actually oh, suited yeah. him. I mean, that's the joke when they talk about. 35% and then they, then they call Chavez, the late and lamented Chavez, uh, a dictator when he consistently won 60 or I know, percent. I know. Right then, gentlemen, let's right. get a bit more specific. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, to start with you, Nori, let's talk the, the, the well, five characters, four leaders and a presiding officer. Ruth? Well, you well, told I've us what you think about Joanne. Joanne. Yeah. Ruth, I don't know, she, she does this I'm a hard man thing and it's not effective, it's not effective. Um, as you say, professional presenter, so from that mm. side, always, but going for the same questions. Nobody's looking to seriously run foot them. It's all about sound bites. 
They can't take him on. Any of yeah, them. yeah, but her analysis of what was in the paper, the, in better. my opinion, the way she presented it was, it was better. better than yeah. John Lamont yeah. was. Yeah, it was. I, I, that, I thought that was her best performance that yeah. I've seen. Yeah. Nori, to be frank, and certainly taking <laughs> taking quotes out of the paper that was the main thesis of what was being discussed. She did it better than the well, other part. I think, I think we probably all agree with that. Okay, so Ruth, you move to Willie. What about Willie's performance? It's becoming less and less important. And it's his that was possible. He didn't start. I off. thought he'd really opened the door for Alec to oh, really did. give him uh, a, a proper savaging. Well, he just what keeps I, you awake. What keeps you awake? Well, at night. You know, he, he just. I don't know. He, he, hmm. he, he's lost the, the diplomacy thing. No, those were the only times when he looked impressive. And he's no good at being aggressive. Yeah. Because you just, I mean, you, you just swap right away, away. you know? And basically, as you say, on the door for what keeps you awake at night? Alec? Everything that you lot are doing in Westminster. Mm. Alec? Good today. Uh, better than last week, certainly. Um, I, I we we all seem to think about something on his mind last week. He was distracted. Yeah. Yeah, well, sure. I, I prefer him sure. when he gets aggressive about it. And as you say, the better together, yeah, get into them. And it, there was lots of ammunition he didn't use. The Macron report, as you mentioned. Mm, yeah. Didn't Trident. Know, you do what he brought up. No, he brought up Trident. He's only got half an hour. He's only got half an hour. Trident. He covered the army side very well. But I mean, this week, there was tons of ammunition. I, thinking about it, he, there was a lot more he could have said than he did. What about the presiding officer? Well, I'm presuming that that voice we kept hearing was some sort of technical glitch. Because surely she she's that right. If it's not her, it's, a, it's someone she's in charge of. Well, at, at the beginning, she got into a few of them. <coughs> but uh, she didn't stop. She's not really doing it. She, no. She's not going to get into school. Joanne, well, same me, same me. Um, not that impressed, really. Um, as I said, I said before, uh, yeah, the eyes are starting to get a bit shifty again. But she was, she was that comfort zone. She's com combating and kept coming back. Ruth, um, yeah, I thought she did. Like, I think she did do the questions better on on the subject. Willie, um, what inadequate, irrelevant. Um, I mean, why is he there? I mean, he, he, well, it's like you said about the Mad Magazine there earlier, and he looks to get smaller and smaller. I mean, I mean, my visual picture now is just the oh, head, big, the head above big the ears. Yeah, the, the head just above the, the desk. You can't see the rest of him because he's really he's shrinking, irrelevant. Um, and I thought the presiding officer today was um, was appalling, um, actually, because even if there is something the matter with 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 the mics and all that, then um, she should tell people to to keep it quiet because there is a problem with it. Yep. She didn't seem to be in control at all today. Uh, and Alec was, um, after considering it from last week, was very, very good, uh, a nice mix of anger, um, exasperation. Yeah, I thought he did a very good job this week. Alex? Yeah, I, I don't disagree with that. I think it's really been said. I, Alec was definitely a lackluster last week. Mm -hmm. he, had, he, had a, he had a much more difficult task this week because of that leaked document. Uh, very, very difficult to deal with given some of the quotes in it. Uh, and he did what you have to do. He, he changed the target uh, where appropriate. Uh, he did what I've been asking him to do uh, hypothetically for weeks, which is don't talk to me about you know, expenditure, lack of money or whatever else. When your boss has just signed up to 100 billion pounds for Trident, he, he threw that in a couple of times. I think he, could have, I think he needs to keep hammering that. Um, because it's, it's unanswerable. I mean, John Lamont wouldn't even attempt to respond to that. Um, so anyway, she, she was, uh, I agree with Nori, in her comfort zone, relatively speaking. She, I don't think she'll ever get any better than that. When she's got material like this, which the press did with it, did, did with it yesterday, then, you know. It's, That's, it's, it, it's like, it's having, a, it's like having only nine and the team opposite you instead of a full 11. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And red cars already, yeah, well, the yellow cars. It's like it's, you've had this, Great day. Yeah. It was a very good day for the unionists yesterday because the mainstream media just went bang. They did. They did. And, and she, was, she was in Jose Mourinho's uh, position today, if you like, but her team only good enough. And she had to get out football. Football. I did. Well, you have to. I mean, I, but I'd like to have said at the end, but the best, the best, team, lo <laughs> the best team lost. <laughs> she wouldn't. Anyway, um, you know, uh, Ruth, Ruth <coughs> I, as I said a moment ago, I think Ruth was uh, the best I've seen her. Mm -hmm. Um, she didn't do anything too daft today trying to be smart, but she picked a number of sound bites out of that paper and put them together 
uh, I so thought much it's better. Much, much more coherent. Indeed. Well, if it was a one, two, three, you know when you're actually wanting to make a point, you have a little rhythm to what you yeah. say in yeah. the yeah. sentence. Yeah, and even a follow-up after his first question, what he did, the what leaders do, uh, she still came back. So yeah. I, I, I thought it was the best performance and better than, than Joanne Lemon. Um, Willie Rennie, as everybody said, is an increasing irrelevance. I mean, you know, what keeps you awake at night? Oh, please ask me a question like that so I can. Yes, every week. I can eviscerate you. And he eviscerated him. And his comment about gas on a peep. He eviscerates. Was... <laughs> that, that was it. What was it? Really? Oh, what's that comment? <laughs> <laughs> gas on a peep. I've, I've don't know, know what I can't remember the context of it. But gas on a peep. You know, <coughs> when gas goes yes. out. Aye, but what, what, what was he running out? It it flickers. All right. was, it, was he saying that Willie Rennie was like a gas on a peep? Yeah. I can't buy it. Anyway, well, it, was a, it was a good expression, kind of means that I'm going to turn you off. Oh, right. Aye. Anyway, I, uh, Willie Rennie was a joke. So, so you say, the lowest possible setting mm. before it goes out. Yeah. I mean, and, it, and Alex's response to him about, you know, your five men parties and irrelevance, and he came very close to saying, and next time round, there'll be even less of you because people are going to take you out completely, uh, which I think is pretty true unless something happens that we haven't even seen yet. So, yeah, and the presiding officer was, I, I, yeah, but whatever the technical glitch was, and the opposition were uppity and they were going to be shouting and bawling the way they were. She needs. It was a perfect example of an opera where a presiding officer need, needs to exert her authority, and she didn't do it. So it, she was crap. We're getting there. We're getting there. Look, Alex, as I said, I think he had a very good day, and he seemed to grow. The first five ten minutes was taking all the flat mm -hmm. the yeah. attacks coming in, yeah. and then he came back and, and really just dominated the chamber. Joanne, I think I have to agree with everybody. She's she did. A lot better than she has, and like, you know, up to a couple of months ago, and it's become almost a, a solid performance. The way she she does perform better, she probably had some training over Christmas or something, and uh, and the comfort zone. That's a good good way for, for me. That's the way I would see it. Ruth, I, I couldn't can never understand why a woman in her position who wants to have a sense of authority wears a low cut dress and leans forward to the camera and shows off her cleavage. I'm not sure why they do that. Because they're women. <sighs> okay. Careful, um, careful. There's also a chance that she, doesn't, that she doesn't do it. She just actually behaves like a human being and just happens to lean because she feels comfortable. Uh, and it's you that's actually looking at the cleavage. Uh, <laughs> no, it was you who started it, by the way. Yeah, and by the way, how dare you insinuate that women would ever dress just to provoke you? Exactly. Okay. Anyway, let's stop being sexy. She was she's, she's always fairly tidy to look at, but. <laughs> and what she said was quite good. <laughs> Are we trying to attract women voters? I have, to be, I have to be honest, I thought the best dressed man there today was Willie. You yeah. never got to see what he was wearing. Well, you did. Did he have a wee t shirt or something? Well, he's, he's right. always got smart ties. I always look smart. Yeah, yeah. Look crazy. He's got to be good for <laughs> something. Just for some general. Okay, parties. right. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, she, you expect Ruth to perform. She's a professional. She's a trained television presenter. Yes, she performed, but she didn't have to agree. Her, her one, two, three lines, you pulled together her items from the secret document much better than Joanne. Yeah. Well, I, he really did go way by. I'm, you might, I can see him going a complete negative vote today by the time we get the scores out. I don't I, That was an awful question to ask. How do you sleep at night? Presiding officer every week goes by. I'm sorry, she gets worse and worse. Surely somebody must tell her. She's not looking well. Well, I don't know why. So, shall we go for the scores then? You're going to write them down, Mr. Yeah. Uh, Stewart. Scores on doors, Jim. Scores on scores. Bill. Oh, look, Bill. I'll start off with Alec. Um, yeah, I thought the right mix of everything, quite good. He didn't look like he was on the back foot at all, no. anywhere. Um, I'll give him a nine. Mm -hmm. It's just on the simple fact, you know, because there's always room for improvement. You can mention Trident more often, as you were saying. Um, Joanne, again, comfort zone. Yeah, fine. Um, I'll actually go for a joint one here with Joanne, and because um, Joanne, because that's it. You know, it's and it's that that rep rep repetition, and it's and Ruth actually did the subject better today, so I'll give them both six. Mm -hmm. I'll give them both six. Willie, I'm sorry, he's irrelevant. So why would you give an irrelevant <laughs> anything? Um, I'll give him a Tory score this year, this week. A zero. A zero. Presenting over them. Presiding officer, yeah, I thought she was terribly bad, and I'm sorry if she's if she's sick or there's something the matter, then she should go on the panel. Um, basically, so yeah, I'll give her a four. Let's be four. 
quite good. Alex? Uh, I give uh, Alex nine because I think he was robust across the piece and did what I expected him to do last week and didn't. So he was back to himself, so I give him nine. John Lamont was, uh, she had an open goal, bloody blah, as we said. I, I give her a six. I give Ruth Davidson seven because I think she did it better. Willie Rennie, zero. And to be quite frank, the presenting also might not, might, for me, she might as well not have been there. If she's six, she's six. But the fact is, I'm going to score her according to what she did, and I give her a zero as well. Alex, yes, I have to go with a nine. I can't, there must, there, I've, I've seen him go better, so we'll have to save the ten for that. Nine. It's definitely a great performance. Uh, Jay, Joanne, six is perhaps, I think we were perhaps over generous last week, but we allowed her a win. Uh, I'll give her five, simply. That's where she's going to settle down. Uh, Ruth, yes, she did the best for quite a long time. Give her a six. She didn't have much to say, but she said it fairly quickly. And, clean, and, 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 and <coughs> Willie, I give him a negative of a good, he gets nothing. What a waste. <laughs> and the presenting officer, too well. She was there, I'll give her one for, for turning up. Uh, well, I've scored Joanne five, Alex nine, Ruth five, Willie Rennie minus one, <laughs> even though he was the best dressed man there. Uh, and the providing officer, I give a zero to. Oh, so well, it looks like I was very generous then, wasn't it? Yeah, you were. Um, and you were thinking about so it. So, from the bottom up, Willie's last. Resident officer got away with a five, which is fairly generous. Uh, Ruth Davidson, 24, beats Joanne by two. I did, sorry, I did the presenting officer get a five. Somebody gave her one, because he gave her a four. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, okay, yeah. Um, Joanne, 22, Ruth, 24. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe I was so right about the cleavage. So, well, I think, no, no, no. I think <laughs> they all felt that her, her tactical delivery was better. Yes. Um, but Alex, way ahead. Um, 36. That's about as high as you can go. Yeah, and um, that's four short of... Yeah, but we all knew last week's little win by Joanne was a... He just wasn't interested enough. Yeah, and, 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 and for the sake of um, making sure that we don't cause too much controversy, I mean, my, any apologies to any people that are offended by my, my remarks about Ruth Davidson. That was very grown up of you, Stuart. Yeah. Doesn't he stop what's going on in your head going on in your head? You might right. get a torrent of abuse. Yeah, man, you never know. It's, it's just really uh, lost. If you are listening, give him a torrent of abuse. Because yeah. he just, deserves just what it. Happened to that guy, like, what's his name? Barry, and he's. Uh, yeah, 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 I saw that. He didn't think he'd done much wrong until it was printed. Uh, yes, uh, meanwhile, <clears throat> it is called Three Men in a Blog for no apparent reason <laughs> other than that. I have to say thank you very much to all of you again Three this week. Three men and a navigator. <laughs> <laughs> Try and make it more like And uh, And thank you very much for watching again. Thanks Arlich, for watching bye bye.